Hello, my friends. I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today we have three fragrances from the house of Atelier Cologne. We have Oud Saphir, Santal Carmen, and Silver Iris. Keep it right there and we'll tell you all about them. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Atelier Cologne is a house that Steve and I both love. We own many from the house. We sure do. I have sure quite do. the library, and as do you over there that I see. Yeah. They were launched in 2010, mm -hmm. and they now have, in 2018, 37 fragrances. Wow, very busy at work. They specialize in citrus and fresh citrus, They're definitely citrus and other notes. They have several collections. They have different price ranges. We were just at an event last week. That was a mm -hmm. lot of fun, hosted by the Fragrance Foundation. And the owners were on a panel mm -hmm. with their perfumer, who they use often. His name is Jerome Epinay. Mm -hmm. And Superstar Knows and Gottlieb was the moderator. It was a fun night. Anyway, at one point, they said that their most popular selling fragrance is Orange Sanguine. Mm -hmm. And their next one is California Clementine. Wow, so people like their citrus. Yeah. People definitely like their citrus. Some people find some of their longevity maybe a little questionable. Okay. But they're meant to be sprayed lavishly and repeatedly throughout the day. That's why they offer those 200 ml bottles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have a problem with them because they're just so enjoyable overall. I don't mind respraying, especially with Atelier Cologne. Yeah, that's true. So they did kind of pioneer their own genre. And a lot of that was inspired by the fact that a lot of Eau de Cologne fragrances really just didn't last. And so instead of taking a pyramid structure, they uh, created what's called an hourglass, mm -hmm. where there's a lot of citrus in the opening, very few mid notes, mm -hmm. but then also a lot of base notes to sort of prolong the longevity of the fragrance. And I would say some of them, I do get pretty good longevity from. A lot of others, like Orange Sanguin, like mm. you said before, I don't really get that great longevity from. But nonetheless, that doesn't change the fact that their fragrances do smell really good and they do utilize a lot of naturals. It's ironic that two of their best sellers are kind of fleeting fragrances. Orangey, yeah. Yeah, and definitely, I love them. And I love uh, another one, Pomelo Paradis. Yeah. Today we're focusing on some others. We have released in 2013, we have Silver Iris, released in 2014, Santal Carmen, and released in 2015, Oud Saphir. This is an iris and citrus fragrance. Mm -hmm. This is a sandalwood and citrus fragrance, among other notes, of course. Vanilla, saffron. Yes, and this is supposed to be oud and citrus. I don't really get much oud from it, but I do enjoy the fragrance, despite yeah. the lack of oud. They have another oud that's where the oud is more present, emerald, Agar or something. Amaru Dagger. Yes, yeah. that one. So let's start smelling. We'll start from the year that it came out, 2013. Okay. This is a really nice iris. It's uh, really could have been on my top iris list, but I don't own a full bottle or mm -hmm. didn't at that point. At that time, yeah. Yeah, I, this is a recent acquisition, but it's definitely a favorite iris of mine. It's not overly floral, it's not overly lipsticky, and it's not overly feminine. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, really unisex iris, I think. Yeah. Let me smell. Let me get a whiff. <laughs> so I do think it has that lipsticky vibe. Like when you I said, just I don't said think I didn't. it's overly <laughs> lipsticky. You got a lipstick? Let me see. For this one, I do, yeah. I don't think it's overly lipsticky, though, like you said. Um, it's not like a yeah, Mask okay. Milano's yeah. Tessa or anything like that. Like, Dior Homme, as much as we love it, that's really lipsticky. It is, yeah. It <laughs> so is. So, not quite lipsticky. Yeah. yeah, I don't get much sweetness from this either. I do get a freshness about it. I don't get citrus per se, but it's because it was pre sprayed, so a lot of the citrus mm -hmm. is ephemeral. 
But for an Irish space this break. is really nice. Let's Very talk about the wear. opening. Yeah, let's do that if we can. Absolutely, my friend. <laughs> No, it's it's not citrusy. <laughs> not overly, right? Not in the opening either. Yeah, it's more lipstick in the opening than the dry down. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the iris note is a bit more animated mm -hmm. in the opening. Yeah, it's definitely more alive, more vibrant, and it's clearly an iris. Like it's just oh yeah, no mistaking it. Oh yeah, and like like you said, um, it's not overly feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would agree with you on that. I know a lot of guys in Fracom that love this one. If I remember correctly, I think Connor Reebok is a huge fan of that one. Mm -hmm. And next up, we have Santal Carmen, Sandalwood. I love Sandalwood. Mm. You love Sandalwood? Not, not a huge fan of it. I really appreciate really? the smell of Sandalwood, but I like it more when it's blended together with other ingredients. Thank you for that, Stephen. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Mmm. So it has a little bit of saffron in there. Mm -hmm. Again, and it adds a nice spicy touch. I, I didn't get much citrus in that opening. No, me neither. If anything, maybe bergamot because there's nothing like that smells distinctly mm -hmm. of like grapefruit or orange or anything like that. Lemon, lime, grapefruit, yeah, orange. Yeah, exactly. Tangerine. <laughs> and I do get a little bit of the vanilla in there too. Mm -hmm. The sandalwood is definitely in there. It's present. It comes across loud and clear but it also has the spicing you want just to keep it interesting. I think a good descriptive word for this one would be creamy. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. creamy sandalwoods and that's a creamy sandalwood. Yeah, it definitely is. Not my favorite from the bunch, mm -hmm. but I appreciate what it does. Cool beans, fair enough. At least you're giving it a chance. Yeah. At the end, you'll tell me which is the uh, favorite one. Okay, sure. Now this one has a reputation for having a strong similarity to Tuscan leather. Mm -hmm. I got citrus in that opening, don't you? In that first spray? Yeah, this one's definitely fresh. I definitely get a lot of that leather. I was looking online, it has like agarwood and birch and- Agarwood, mm -hmm. it's called oud Saphir, but I personally didn't get too much oud from that one. Yeah, no, neither do I. I think it's more about the leather. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a little spicy, a little peppery. It has that leather note in there. And it's bright. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, it's a bright fragrance. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's not dull in any way. And the citrus really, you know, awakens it in the opening. I think this one is an interesting scent. And if I had to pick a favorite, it would definitely be this one. But the clause being that I just don't know if I would rather wear this or Tuscan leather mm -hmm. and I have a feeling that I would prefer to wear Tuscan leather. Okay. But I think it smells awesome. So of these three, that one is your favorite? Yeah. But you yeah, don't know definitely. that you pick it over Tuscan leather. Correct. My favorite out of these three is the uh, Santel Carmen. Mm. Followed very closely by this and that. I, oh, wow. I, I, I enjoy them all, honestly. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining me on this. this You're was welcome. Fun. My pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed. You always tell us that you enjoy when we're together, so we do it often, <laughs> as much as we can. We appreciate the kind words. Thank you. I would love to give one of these to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Mr. Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite Atelier Cologne is. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, new content, giveaways, buddies, beautiful ladies, and all the furry fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you at the next review. Bye. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications in your feed of new reviews, new content. My flow got ruined. I booned it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to switch it up. Yeah, I right? messed uh -huh. it up. <laughs> happens to me too. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell. It comes to